Among those filing the lawsuit, a worker here at UNCG and a 16-year-old son. The son, Connor, is undergoing hormone replacement therapy. His dad questions why the state health plan, which he has paid into for 20 years, no longer covers such treatment. The treatment is underway and the family says they are paying for it themselves with no help from the state. Hormone replacement therapy definitely changed my life. I remember for years before starting, I was in such a dark place and I know 14 or 15 year old me even couldn't imagine sitting here and talking to someone like this one on one with a camera. So it's definitely just boosted my confidence. This is something that's probably comparable to a normal person. Medical science, all of the studies, you know, have found that this is medically necessary, that transgender, especially teens and children especially, have a astronomically higher suicide rate. And, you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield, all the studies say that this treatment prevents that. Critics of the North Carolina State Health Plan blame the change in coverage on North Carolina Treasurer Dale Falwell. Falwell says that the state provided coverage to the transgender community for only one year, 2017. His office issued this statement today in response to the lawsuit. Quote, until the court system, a legislative body, or voters tell us that we have to, when to, and how to spend taxpayer money on gender reassignment surgery, I will not make a decision that has the potential to discriminate against those who desire other uncovered elective procedures. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.